so we'll have some cake. We're also going to have an open mat, so if you still want to roll, feel free to roll. It's open mat, but right now let's sing a happy birthday. So here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, the way I got into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was uh, back in February, my son approached me because he was being bullied at school. And uh, back then it was under a different ownership name, so we come in and, and jointly we started taking classes together. Uh, in May, the old owner decided that he no longer wanted to, uh, to run a business, Jiu Jitsu, so myself and Danny Orr, who is my partner, uh, we bought the business and we've been growing it ever since. So let's make a center right here, and if you're a blue belt or above, it makes you get in the middle. What the hell is this? You'll see me get right here. I preach this, I believe it. Uh, and Misiel believes it, Carolini believes it, my co-owner Danny believes it. We're a family here. You know, at the end of the day, we try to treat people the way that we would want to be treated if we were going into another gym. Uh, we train hard, the expectations are high, we are a competing gym, uh, and, and we train hard. All's good, it's real good, it's a family here. Oh, no, no, my spouse, no, but Danny's and husband, yeah? Oh, 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 just a great guy the first time that I come to the gym uh, he he was riding a bicycle up to the gym. He had just come back from, from a tournament, uh, I think in Austin. And he didn't speak any English, and I didn't speak any Portuguese at this time. And I asked him to see the owner, and he said, no, I blow English. And uh, he said, come inside, though. Well, he didn't say come inside. He waved me inside. And it's just been a great relationship uh, since day one. Uh, he's quick to smile. Uh, he... he he loves his students. He loves teaching his students. Uh, he, he's not one of those guys that's ever too busy, you know, to step out and help somebody. And more importantly, other than just this gym, because, you know, currently he's just a, a student here training. Uh, and, and this is his home base of operations for his competition. But, but more importantly than that, I mean, he's active in the local church here. He's active with, with the youth of the church here. Uh, he's my Brazilian American. The first thing we teach the kids is if you can walk away, walk away. And we have a very large kids class here at Team Tank Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You know, but at the end of the day, if push comes to shove, push comes to shove, and you do have to defend yourself, you know, 90% of the fights, you know, they go to the ground. Uh, and the philosophy here that's taught is, you know, if you end it, end it quickly. But other than that, no more damage. You know, we're not trying to, to, to break another kid's arms. We're just trying to stop a situation uh, before it gets out of control. I've got a couple that, uh, a mom that walked in one day, and her son is 12 years old. He's on probation. He's still on probation. He's actually doing his probation service here uh, at Team Tank. When he gets out of school, which school just started, uh, he shows up at 4 o'clock. He cleans the mats, he cleans the windows, he cleans the bathroom. He takes the trash out. 
what brought them here was her looking for something to get her son in that had a positive atmosphere and that would keep him away from the negative people that are in school. Uh, honestly, he got caught with, with, with the joint. Uh, since then, his attitude has compla uh, changed completely. He trains five days a week, and he's one of the better students that we have. And, you know, we all make mistakes as kids. And I think, if, fellow gyms, if, if you watch this interview, take the time to invest in the youth. Take the time to invest in these kids. You know, his mother trains here. He trains here. Uh, and it's made a positive impact on the relationship. It's made a positive impact on his school grades as well. So, you know, we pride ourselves in that.